Well, hello! Hello sa inyong lahat! Welcome sa ating uh, daily devotional. We are now in episode 272. Salamat sa Panginoon for giving us uh, a new day. And uh, hello sa inyo, uh, everyone, uh, lalo na yung mga datihan na o laging nakikinig dito sa ating daily devotions. I'm so glad na you have joined us again dito sa ating online broadcast. Uh, for those of you na first time, uh, we do this every day at 7 a.m. Now, some of you can join live while others naman, uh, they listen via replay. Siguro after work or kung meron na silang time, uh, maybe in the evening. Uh, so, maraming salamat uh, kung kayo ay nakikinig via replay. Uh, and of course, also, kung kayo ay nakikinig ng live. It's a Tuesday morning dito sa Pilipinas. And, uh, you know, you may you may be in a, in another time zone. So, good afternoon siguro or good evening sa inyo, wherever you might be. Today, our topic po is entitled, uh, Waiting in God's uh, Presence. And, uh, you know, waiting is not an easy thing to do. Uh, alam natin, uh, you know... Sa panahon natin, we are not used to waiting. In fact, naiinis tayo <laughs> whenever we are forced to wait for anything or fall in line or anything like that na parang uh, naistorbo yung ating uh, business or yung, yung schedule natin. So, this is not an easy thing. And um, surely, uh, you know, pagdating sa pag-spend uh, natin ng time sa uh, presensya ng Panginoon, uh, this can actually be a, a problem kasi, you know, sometimes when we draw near to God, we do expect na magkaroon na agad ng, ano, ng response ng Panginoon. But what we fail to understand is that uh, this is the place where we really learn how to wait upon the Lord. So our passage today is uh, from Psalm 130, uh, one of the songs of ascents. Uh, for those of you who may not know kung ano sabihin ng Song of Ascent, uh, it's uh, those songs na kinakanta ng mga pious Jews whenever they are uh, on their way to Jerusalem uh, during dun sa mga, you know, key festivals. They have three key festivals uh, during the year kung saan all the Jews from different parts of the world, they go to Jerusalem. And on their way, uh, while on, they are on the road, Patungo sa Jerusalem, they sing these songs. So this is called the Song of Ascents. Um, anyway, it's a short uh, psalm. It's just uh, eight uh, verses, you know, in our English Bible. Uh, of course, in the Hebrew Bible, it's, uh, you know, uh, yung phrase na a Song of Ascents is actually part of the verse. Okay, verse one. Anyway, uh, so... We are going to look at verses 5 and 6. No, basahin natin. Uh, I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits. And in His word, I put my hope. I wait for the Lord. More than watchmen wait for the morning. More than watchmen wait for the morning. 
So let us pray po, manalangin po tayo sa Panginoon. Lord, uh, tulungan nyo nga po kami, Panginoon, because uh, in our modern uh, world and in our experience, waiting is not something na nakasanayan namin. Uh, in fact, O oh Lord, we tend to be quite impatient when we are asked to wait. But waiting is a key uh, spiritual discipline, Lord, that you want us to learn sa buhay namin, especially in our relationship with you. So, Lord, today, uh, teach us, speak to us, help us to understand uh, the importance of uh, learning how to wait in your presence, Panginoon. So, Lord, maraming salamat po. Thank you for how you're going to teach us, Panginoon. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So, like I said, uh, waiting is not easy for uh, most of us, siguro. Maybe for some, there might be some exceptions. Pero dahil nga na tayo, we live in a world kung saan halos lahat ng bagay ay automatic o madali lang, isang pindutan lang, you know, nandiyan na. Sometimes we carry it over uh, in our time uh, in the presence of the Lord. We become impatient and demanding, lalo na kung walang nangyayari. And I said, you know, uh, yesterday that this is part of our tendency to to want to control things, no? Even our prayer, no, even our time with the Lord, we want to control it. We want to make sure that it's done and over with uh, as soon as possible para we can, you know, get over it and do whatever it is that we want to do. Truly, uh, you know, the place of silence and solitude is a place of grace, but it's also a place to learn a very important uh, spiritual discipline, and that is uh, to learn how to wait. You know, silence and solitude, you know, uh, is really a place where we learn to wait for God's faithful response. This scripture that we uh, we just read is really part of a, you know, a a, sh- a short song. And uh, the psalmist is praying in verses 1 and 2, sabi niya, Out of the depths I cry to you, Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. So you can see that the psalmist is praying and uh, praying by himself. And he's approaching God. Uh, there seems to be parang a tone of desperation, you know. Sabi niya, out of the depths I cry to you, Lord. So it may seem that uh, the psalmist, perhaps in the original context, you know, when he wrote it, he was really going through a perhaps a difficult uh, experience. But then as we look at it, you no. Know, uh, further, so verse 3 and 4, we begin to see what he's probably going through. Sabi, if you, Lord, kept a record of sins, Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, so that we can with reverence serve you. So he's not thinking about his own situation. He's probably thinking about the national situation. In other words, the situation in his uh, homeland, in his country, Israel. And He's probably reflecting on the calamities that are befalling his nation, you know, because of their sins. So he's uh, quite aware of that. And in, in the last verse, 7 and 8, sabi niya, Israel, put your hope in the Lord. For with the Lord is unfailing love, and with him is full redemption. He himself will redeem Israel from all their sins. So he's interceding, he's uh, crying out for his uh, country and praying that uh, God would deliver them and save them. So, yun yung context, it seems, ng psalm, that uh, the psalmist is really interceding and uh, crying out for the sake of his people, Israel. Now, when we go to verses 5 and 6, we see here uh, the attitude and uh, the posture of this psalmist as he prays to the Lord, sabi niya, I, I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits. Now, it's, it's good na sinabi niya yun na my whole being waits because uh, 
often in our experience, ano, pag tayo ay dumalapit sa Panginoon, um, our bodies might be there sa place na yun, pero it seems like yung other, our other parts ng ating personality are drifting away, yung mind natin na pupunta dun sa groceries na kailangan natin bilhin o uh, yung tao na gusto natin kausapin o yung trabaho na kailangan natin tapusin, you know. Uh, so, sabi, sabi niya, I wait for the Lord, my whole being waits. So, really, the, you know, the place of silence and solitude is where we train ourselves to focus, to really be mindful of and pay attention to God with our whole being. And it's not an easy thing dahil nga most of the time, yung because of our hurry, hurriedness, yung ano natin, yung being natin is kalat, you know? Yung being natin disintegrated and um, there's so many things going on inside and it would take a while for us to really settle down. And that's why yung yung place of silence and solitude is really a place for godly training. It's a place where we learn how to focus on the Lord. Now, personally, you know, I struggle with that kasi uh, when I try to spend time in silence and solitude, siguro tulad nyo rin, you know, uh, nakakaranas ako ng ganong temptations na minsan may mga naiisip ako and uh, before long, para na focus na ulit ako sa mga gagawin ko. Uh, and it takes discipline. I realize na this is something that uh, is not going to be parang just automatic for me when I decide to be in a place of silence and solitude na agad-agad makakafocus ako. Uh, I have to discipline my my body, my whole being, no, uh, to be present in the Lord. So, of course, I it's, I ask for God's grace for me to do that kasi nga, by nature, uh, my mind tends to wander away. Ewan ko sa inyo, pero, you know, that's my common uh, struggle and experience. But uh, being in a place of silence and solitude is not just para, you know, punuin lang yung time na yon, matapos na agad, you know, kung 30 minutes, 30 minutes, or maybe even less. Yung, yung tinatawag nisa na quiet time, it becomes parang just a an item on, on a list na kailangan tapusin, kailangan gawin. And of course, we have our routines, you know, read the Bible, ganyan, pray, and that's it. So learning how to wait uh, in the presence of the Lord is um, a soul training. It's a kind of uh, discipline where we learn how to focus ourselves on God, not on what we do, but on what God would do and how God would respond. Sabi nung psalmist, I wait for the Lord, my whole being waits, and in His word I put my hope. So the psalmist is uh, relying upon God's uh, response, His word, no, that would be impressed upon Him while He waits. Now, therefore, you know, this is such an important thing na kailangan natin maunawaan. I have said before na, you know, the flesh counts for nothing. Only His Word is spirit and life. And the Word of God, of course, is what we truly need sa puso natin. And uh, this is, uh, you know, God impressing uh, His thoughts in our thoughts so that we may begin to understand, you know, His purpose and will for us. Now, um, of course, this has to be uh, ikaw nga kailangan meron tayong ano, knowledge of God's word kasi hindi lahat ng mga naiisip natin uh, is from the Lord. Kung maalala nyo, I talked about discernment before and we must learn how to discern kung may mga thoughts tayo naiisip while we are there in God's presence because, you know, even there, you know, we can be tempted to uh, think thoughts that are not really from God. And so we, 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 we actually wait and we discern at the same time. Uh, so we learn to wait upon the Lord for His response, uh, how His Spirit would uh, 
speak to us in, in our silence and solitude, no? to reveal himself to us, to reveal us to us. You know, we'll talk more about that later on, about what kind of prayers we, we need to pray when we are in a place of silence and solitude. But, you know, often this is the place where God's revelation really begins to, to happen sa puso natin if we wait. And uh, pag masyadong marami tayong iniisip and maraming nakagulo sa isipan natin, of course, it's very hard to pay attention. Uh, now, I don't mean to say na parang aalisin natin yung mga naiisip natin, but really to be aware kung ano yung mga naiisip natin at bakit ganun yung mga naiisip natin. It's part of the waiting. It's part of uh, remaining in God's presence so that we can understand ourselves better. Kung ano yung mga drives and desires that are, you know, swirling inside our hearts, causing us to be, you know, in a state of unrest, ika nga. So God does that. He, he helps us understand ourselves um, and He helps us to see the truth, the reality, while we are there in His presence waiting. So He also reveals to us, you know, uh, areas of, of sin that we might not be aware of. You no, know, things that perhaps that he that he wants us to see about our attitudes, about our way of thinking. So just like the psalmist, you know, we have to learn how to wait in God's presence for God's revelation to really work in our hearts. And minsan hanggang hindi tayo nagpupunta dun sa place na yon of silence and solitude, God cannot get through to us because our minds are just so busy. And our whole being is just too busy. So learning how to just stop and slow down and be at rest in God's presence to wait upon Him. So it's not really just about us talking all the time. It's us basically learning to to wait. So silence and, and, and solitude you know, is the place where we learn to wait for God's faithful response. Sabi ng psalm is uh, verse 6, you know, I wait for the Lord. More than watchmen wait for the morning. And then he repeats himself, more than watchmen wait for the morning. What does he mean by that? Now, yung mga watchmen, you know, in case you did not know, sila yung mga nagbabantay no, sa walls uh, ng Jerusalem. Uh, they wait, you know, doon sa, sa taas, you know, they have a place doon all by themselves. And of course, uh, critical yung sa gabi because, you know, you don't see anything. Wala namang meral ko nung araw, di ba? So they are there at, at, the, at the top of the wall, uh, looking, you know, out, um, you know, just just waiting there kung, kung meron bang uh, danger, may kalaban ba na parating, or maybe merong mga, mga friendlies na parating na kailangan i-open yung gate. No, so they have a very important role and uh, pag nandun sila sa lugar nila, siyempre they are, they are all by themselves at uh, what they're looking forward to siyempre is the morning kasi yun yung liliwanag na and you know, parang they will feel a, a sense of relief na finally nakikita na nila yung paligid nila. Uh, you know, so sabi ng psalmist, um, I wait for the Lord more, more than watchmen wait for the morning. No? More than watchmen wait for the morning. Two times na sinabi. So, waiting is not simply parang passively, uh, you know, waiting for, you know, matapos na yung, yung quiet time mo or whatever. But it's it's really with expectation. You, you, you are looking forward to something. So, yung morning is like parang, you know, for the watchmen, they're looking forward to it kasi it's a, a sign of hope and a sign of a, it's a new day. No, tapos na yung darkness, tapos na yung parang uh, time na parang they don't know what will happen or whatever, and the morning is signals parang finally they would be able to see and they would be able to, you know, uh, uh, discern, you know, and, and there's uh, no na there's safety. In other words, the the psalmist here is picturing sa atin yung experience niya, you know. Uh, kino compare niya sa experience ng mga watchmen who, who are on the wall of the of Jerusalem 
So in the same way, parang when we are ano, spending time uh, in silence and solitude, ganun din yung experience natin eh, from darkness to light. In other words, we come before the Lord not, not really understanding things and not really being able to see clearly kung ano ba yung nangyayari you know, sa atin, you know, what is God's will sa isang situation and how are we to, you know, to respond faithfully sa mga nararamdaman natin. This is the place for us to find ano, understanding. You know, the place of silence and solitude is the place to, to have clarity. And it may take a while for that to happen. No? We wait upon it, in other words. We wait for clarity. We wait for for God to remove the the you know, the obscurity, yung uh, the darkness na hindi natin minsan maunawaan. Ano ba yung nangyayari sa buhay ko, Lord? Ano ba nangyayari sa, sa mundo? Ano ba nangyayari sa family ko, Lord? You know, uh, bakit ganito? This is the place to learn how to wait for God's faithful response. And, you know, like I said, you don't demand for that. And and sometimes yung waiting na yun can be you know, quite difficult, no? But we discipline our soul knowing that God is faithful. And, and so we wait. We wait for clarity. And it may, it may not be just one time we keep coming back to that place, you know, of silence and solitude to continue our waiting. No, so it's not passive, it's really active. We're expecting that God would give us understanding. The Lord would enable us to see the truth. You know, we believe that God is faithful, God is true to his promises. And so it may not come in our timetable. In other words, maybe hindi ngayon kung if I spend time with the Lord with my prayer needs and if I approach God with my concerns, maring Right, uh, right there and there, and magkakaroon na agad ako ng clarity. But uh, maybe it would take uh, several times of going into God's presence and being there in silence and waiting upon the Lord. Uh, and maybe, sa, you know, after a while, things would become clearer. And that's the attitude of the soul na kailangan natin ma-develop sa sarili natin. Yung learning how to wait upon the Lord. And not demanding that God would respond immediately. But knowing that He will respond in His own way, in His own time. No? And we wait for that. And pag nag wait tayo, of course, we must be aware of the different ways that God may impress the no, clarity sa puso natin. It may be through... The, the events no na, that would transpire after after our time in the silence and solitude in God's presence maybe the events themselves or the experiences would bring clarity or maybe a person that God would send would can become uh, the person through whom God may speak to our hearts so we must be open and we must be waiting yung attitude na yun is uh, you know anticipating parang tulad halimbawa ng isang tao na na mga anak you know, hindi niya alam exactly kung kailan no uh, isang babae i mean not not isang tao but isang babae mga anak so she doesn't really know when you know it can happen but she's anticipating she's waiting for it to happen that's the picture of the the word that God uh, wants us to see with our mind's eye Yung waiting na yun, which is not really parang passive lang na naghihintay ka lang na maandar lang yung oras. But it's really expecting that God is faithful, that He will bring clarity. So dito sa, sa psalmist na to, in his experience, as he is crying out to God and really asking the Lord na to come and deliver him and the rest of the, the nation of Israel. But he's waiting. He knows God would respond. But he doesn't know when that would happen. So sabi niya, as a watchman, as what, uh, more than watchmen wait for the morning. So with eagerness, with expectation, is looking forward to God's response. Kaya sabi niya sa verse 7, Israel, put your hope in the Lord, for with the Lord is unfading love, and with Him is full redemption. No, He Himself, sabi niya, you know, will redeem Israel from all their sins. So he's looking forward to that. Uh, deliverance. He himself is looking forward to that uh, fulfillment of God's promises. 
So when we go into God's presence, you know, in a place of silence and solitude, uh, we don't try to control this kind of situation. We surrender ourselves to God. But at the same time, we learn to wait upon the Lord. This is the place where kung meron tayo mga needs or we need clarity or di natin nauunawaan yung nangyayari sa buhay natin. We come before the Lord knowing fully well na He knows what we are going through and He knows our hearts. Often nga, we don't even know ourselves enough. You know, it, um, we, we sometimes are not aware no, of uh, those things that are going on inside of us, your motivations and yung mga thinking natin. Often we are not aware of these things. Uh, kaya nga pag super busy tayo, sometimes we we are not aware of what is driving us. Kung ano yung mga naiisip natin, why we are overworking, for example. No? Maybe deep down inside, nandun yung fear and anxiety uh, that God will not see you through or will not take care of you. So yung mga motivations natin are hidden from us. We do not we do not see them and we, we're not aware. You know, sometimes we do our best to just deny yung mga feelings natin. But God wants us to to really slow down and eventually stop and, and be in a place of silence and solitude so that God can, you know, get through to us. And so we learn to wait. We wait for the Lord to give us clarity. Uh, we wait for the Lord to enable us to see the light. You know, we spend time there in God's presence patiently waiting upon Him to help us so that we may experience yung kanyang, uh, you know, saving grace. How He would deliver us from the darkness, how He would deliver us from, you know, those uh, kinds of uh, you know, experiences na hindi natin maunawaan na nangyayari sa buhay natin. So that's the place. We go to the place of silence and solitude to wait, to learn to wait upon the Lord. And uh, it is something na, you know, that is uh, difficult, uh, especially pag hindi mo naman ginagawa palagi. So it would be quite a challenge. I know some of you who are listening are thinking, you know, parang di ko kaya mag-wait. Uh, in fact, uh, Siguro yung manahimik ka lang ng ilang sandali parang nabibingi ka na because you know, gusto mo may mangyari, gusto mo may music, gusto mo mayroong parang you know, <laughs> it's not easy. But then that's really the discipline. So we go to ano, uh, we go to God's presence to learn how to find clarity, you know. Kaya sabi ng psalm is more than watchmen wait for the morning. We're waiting for the light. We're waiting for enlightenment. We're waiting for clarity sa sarili natin. But as we wait, we also need to learn na, uh, you know, it is not necessarily parang God would speak to you with an audible voice. But we wait, you know, through God's own way. And we are expectant, you know, nangikinig tayo. Through circumstances, experiences, the scriptures, of course, number one. Uh, but, you know, God can get through to us in many different ways if we are waiting, if we are expecting. So, napakahalaga po yun sa atin. Sometimes we, when we don't do that, when we don't pause to reflect, uh, a lot of things are going on sa buhay natin that we are not even aware of. You know, and God wants to reveal Himself sa atin but we cannot hear kasi our minds are so distracted by so many things. Minsan nga nangyayari, eh, nagkakaroon tayo ng ano eh, you know, yung talagang forced, ano, forced uh, uh, silence and solitude. When, kumbaga, minsan nagkakasakit na nga tayo because, you know, we're so, ano eh, we're so hurried trying to save our lives. But God wants us to, to pause and to wait upon Him. So, I hope na na-realize natin that uh, yung place of silence and solitude is so crucial sa formation natin spiritually, you know? Uh, if you uh, are a person who have decided na you want to trust God and you want to, uh, you know, experience yung saving grace niya sa buhay mo, then you, you need to understand na hindi optional ito. 
learning to live your life, you know, in such a way na may pacing ka, may rule of life ka na you regularly take the time to uh, slow down, to pause and to reflect and to wait upon the Lord. We'll, we'll talk about, you know, the importance of prayer and, of course, scripture and apakahalaga uh, uh, the, in our experience, you know, in God's presence. And also, of course, yung uh, fasting, you know, uh, as those things that we do uh, in order for us to really wait upon the Lord. We'll talk more about that. But for now, I, I hope and pray na nare-realize nyo na, na intindihan nyo na, na if you really want to experience yung life transformation and you really want to experience the power of God in your life, you know, the, so that you would be able to resist temptation. At hindi lang resist temptation, but really accomplish the good works that God has prepared for you. I mean, this cannot happen by your own strength. You have to plug in to the presence of God on a regular basis. Uh, you have to pause and pray and, and really seek the Lord. Uh, hindi mo mararanasan yung power of God sa buhay mo if you're so hurried, you're running around all the time, busy, and uh, you know, ang mangyayari doon is you, you would not be able to to really experience the blessings of being in God's kingdom. So, wag natin ma-miss out yon, okay? Uh, let's learn to develop yung uh, pacing, yung rhythm of always uh, parang stopping whatever it is na ginagawa natin, slowing down, going to a place of silence and solitude. And let's do that on a regular basis, kahit na, you know, mga at first, you go to a few minutes, you know, each time, maybe morning, lunchtime, you know, evening. Learning how to pace ourselves and, and, and maybe even having a whole day of Sabbath, which are so very important sa atin spiritually. No? Uh, if you look at the life of Jesus, He's not hurried. He's not always busy going, doing, he, doing this and doing that. He would always spend time in God's presence, in the presence of His Heavenly Father. That's what you see. And and so his life and his example is also a pattern for us. And we see the same thing. Sa mga, sa mga followers niya, sa mga disciples niya, sa mga apostles, how they also lived their lives. And they learned that from Jesus. So we learn the same thing for our own lives. Amen? So nawa magkaroon tayo ng ganyang discipline sa buhay natin. Go to a place regularly uh, where there is silence and solitude. And you would nourish your soul. You would experience you know, the nourishment and the strengthening uh, that comes from God. Okay, let's pray. Manalangin po tayo. Lord, marami salamat sa iyo, Panginoon, for your reminders amen that we truly need to abide in you. We truly need to spend quality time in your presence, not being hurried, Lord, but learning how to wait in your presence, Panginoon. So, Lord, tulungan niyo po kami. It's not easy to wait, Lord. It, uh, we struggle a lot when it comes to waiting, even sa ordinary buhay, Lord. Uh, we are impatient. Dear God, we need, Lord, your, your word. We need your presence, Panginoon. They are spirit and life for us. We need to abide in you. We cannot do anything apart from you, Lord. So, please help us, oh God to overcome yung mga wrong habits namin sa buhay and to repent and to change our lifestyle so that we would be able to live uh, according to the rhythm of grace that you want us to experience sa buhay namin. Salamat, Panginoon, that this is possible for us by the grace of God. So, tulungan niyo po kami and everyone else who are listening right now in their own specific context or struggles. Help them, Lord to live their lives uh, with the right kind of uh, rule of faith that they would uh, regularly practice this, Panginoon. Salamat po, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Purihin ang ating Panginoon. Alright. So, uh, I hope na meron tayong natutunan na, na, na bago. You know, remember, uh, silence and solitude is the place where we learn to wait for God's faithful response. So, ilagay natin sa puso natin yan. Let's meditate on it the whole day. And let's apply it, no? Talagang uh, magkaroon tayo ng times uh, during the day where we pause and we 
seek the Lord, we wait upon Him, we pray. No? Huwag tayong tuloy-tuloy for the entire day. I'll do the same thing. No, sabay-sabay tayo. Let's uh, practice that. Amen? All right. Sige, let me uh, just give a shout out sa mga tao na nangikinig ngayon. Uh, again, for those who are listening via replay, uh, of course, I don't know you. So, thank you so much. You can just make the comments uh, kahit na later. Uh, for those of you out there who are listening uh, to me live pero you don't make any comments, I would, I would uh, of course, appreciate that if you can make a comment but I can know you. But it's all right. One thing I would like to ask you, well, a couple of things. One is uh, if you can uh, just, uh, you know, uh, click the, the, the like button or subscribe to our page, namin, no? RLCC or Real Life Christian Communities. Or if you are uh, listening to YouTube, you know, uh, we would appreciate if you would just, you know, click the thumbs up and uh, also the subscribe button. Uh, just so we can uh, have a greater reach, you know. Because when you do that, pag nag, when you click yung, 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 yung like, for example, or yung care, when you do that, please don't click yung angry, ah, yung like. <laughs> so when you do that, it it uh, actually adds uh, to the algorithm. Because you know, we know, you know probably that uh, Facebook and other social media platforms, meron silang algorithm. Eh. So. Even though I go live, I don't necessarily reach everybody, uh, you know, unless I boost this. Pero kung sa normal lang, it all really depends, you know, sino yung mga nakikinig. So you, the reach would be quite limited unless you, you know, you click it, you share it, you know, and so forth and so on. So I, w- I would really appreciate if you would do that para we can reach more people with the Word of God. Secondly, kung meron kayong mga concerns, prayer needs, etc., please go to Messenger, tapos i-search nyo lang yung RLCCPHIL, and uh, let us know how we can pray for you. Uh, we have volunteers waiting on a standby uh, to interact with you kung may mga needs po kayo. There's no need to feel disconnected. Uh, we can actually make the effort, by grace, you know, to really connect ourselves. So we have this uh, ministry, sa uh, Messenger that is available for everyone. No, punta lang kayo doon. So, yun lang po. A couple of things I just want to mention. Um, all right. And, yeah, of, of, so the third thing that I'd like to mention in is uh, if you want to, you know, support uh, my ministry, you know, so online, uh, I would also appreciate that. No, thank you so much. Okay, so... Presi, hello, good morning, salamat, thank you for listening, salamat uh, for spending time uh, here with us. Uh, Marge Kamba, salamat din po. Uh, May uh, Wangdali, thank you for joining us at this time. Uh, Tess Reyes, no? salamat, and for your uh, life group din, Soul Squad, thank you. Glory Fe, salamat, thank you for listening. Uh, Rosel, uh, salamat, thank you for uh Spending time muli dito sa ating daily devotions. Uh, third Alao, good morning sa iyo ulit. Salamat. Uh, Rose Brabante, thank you po. Uh, Hannah Soler, uh, good afternoon. Jan sa California, thank you. Salamat, thank you for joining. Uh, Maria Esteban, salamat po. Uh, Death Valenzuela, thank you for joining. Uh, Gail Alvarez, salamat, thank you for joining us today. GV Lehayan, salamat po. Thank you. Melody Embralino, uh, yes, uh, salamat uh, uh, for joining. No, thank you, Jan, sa Singapore, correct? No, you are in Singapore. Thank you for joining. Uh, Tina Rojas, hello, uh, nice profile pic. No, Disney lady. <laughs> Sige, thank you. <laughs> Tita Mila and Tito Oscar, salamat po for joining us from the from the US. Uh, good afternoon, po sa inyo. Thank you. Uh, death uh, Valenzuela, not death, sorry, death, indeed death. Uh, okay, death, death Valenzuela. Good morning, thank you. Okay, uh, Don Don Cabradilla, salamat. Helen Joshua, uh, thank you. Uh, Ella Arceo, salamat po. Uh, Maret and uh, Ray, thank you for listening. Uh, Eyang uh, Fontano, salamat. Good morning. Uh, Reino Campo, together with all these people that you're inviting, thank you, salamat. 
Tess Kunanan, uh, thank you. Salamat for joining. Uh, Christy Padilla, uh, thank you. Uh, Terry Reyes, salamat po. Uh, Lynn De La Cruz, thank you for listening. Uh, Audrey, salamat. Uh, thank you for sharing. Kela CJ, you know, and uh, Marifair uh, Legarda, you know. Kela Jovelin, thank you for sharing. Um, Kela Heidi Ren, Rosette, you know, hello sa inyo. Thank you for joining. Oops, they got real life Christian communities there. Okay. Uh, Anna de Belen, okay. Salamat po. Thank you for uh, joining together with uh, Brother Joshua. Josh, Dave, salamat po. Okay, up. Oh, I'll see you later. Salamat. Okay, uh, Raul Sarmiento, thank you for joining. Uh, Marcelino Belia, salamat po. Thank you for uh, joining with my brother, June Belia. Salamat. Thank you, June. Thank you for joining. Uh, uh, Jepoy, salamat. Good morning. Thank you. Ron Kaugdan, salamat. Muli. Uh, John Teodoro, thank you po for joining us here. Jose Padilla, salamat po. Menglo Oval, God bless po, God bless sa inyo. Uh, Eva Balisteros, uh, hello, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, Carms Valle, salamat po, thank you for joining. Uh, Suset, you know, uh, salamat, thank you for joining. Uh, be be well, be be healed in Jesus' name, be strong, you know. Thank you, uh, I'm praying for you, Suset, you know. Uh, Tess Reyes. Thank you. We lack the patience that waits for whatever God would give whenever God chooses to give and in whatever form He wants to give to us. Amen. That's true. Okay. Grace Ordiz um, and also Nips Ordiz. Salamat po. Thank you for listening. Uh, Rain Olit. Uh, Tito Oscar, our times of silence and solitude draws God's attention to make us aware of what He wants us to bring up to Him. Okay. Praise God. You know, God, of course, would Reveal to us more of Himself and more about us when we spend time in silence and solitude. Uh, George Mendoza Argoso, salamat po. Thank you. Sister Sunny, hello po sa inyo. Brother Ferdy, thank you po for joining. Uh, Eileen Alanigi, salamat po. No? Uh, Aiko, uh, my soul waits. Let us do so with our whole hearts. Uh, it tries faith, exercises patience, trains submission. God's word is a firm ground for a waiting soul to rest upon. Uh, if you are not yet a Christian, repent, turn to God. He will be gracious to you, have mercy on you, believe in Him. Your sins can be forgiven. He gives power to the weak and strengthen our hearts. Amen. Thank you, Paul. Sister Aiko, salamat. Uh, Tess Reyes, the impulse to act quickly always leads us to our own human devices. God rarely works in a rush. God won't heed our deadlines, but He is never too late. His direction will come, His will be clear, and His timing will be perfect. Yeah, thank you. Salamat, Sister Tess, for sharing these things to us. Salamat po. Uh, PB, good morning. Missing you all on live telecast. Sa replay muna po ako. Please do pray that I can share the gospel with my relatives. Uh, my mother's youngest brother died from a complicated medical condition. Wow, so sorry. Thank, so sorry about that, uh, Pastor Ates. Nahikiramay po kami. Lord, I pray for the Hilapo family, especially for the mother of Pastor Ates. Panginoon, tulungan niyo po sila in their time of grieving. Uh, comfort them, Lord, by your grace and uh, help them to really continue to find hope in you, in your promises, Panginoon, in your word. At nawa, gamitin mo si Pastor Ates to share the gospel with their relatives. Thank you, po Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Alright, March, uh, waiting upon the Lord helps us to focus on the purpose and direction for our life according to God's will. It's important to take time to be still before God, falling deeply into Him. Okay, thank you, po. Lucia Sikil. Uh, Sikil. Good morning. Yes, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, March Kamba, as we confidently know God's will as we live our daily lives. Amen. Sister Hermie, thank you, PB. <laughs> How to go and do silence and solitude is now claro to me. That's good. No, uh, We'll continue to talk about that in the coming days. Okay. Uh, Virgil Magbujos, uh, salamat po. Good morning, Senor. Thank you for joining us here. 
Okay, Aiko Katapang, salamat po. So, thank you very much everyone. Uh, thank you for spending time uh, dito sa ating daily devotions. Remember, we do this every day at 7 a.m. Uh, live broadcast po tayo, 7 a.m. Philippine time, uh, Monday to Friday. So, join us tomorrow. We'll continue with our uh, conversation to sa how to really spend time dun sa silence and solitude na tinatawag natin, a place of silence and solitude. So, okay, see you tomorrow. God bless at ingat po kayo. Bye-bye.